As a poultry producer, you're probably familiar with flies in poultry facilities. Not only are flies a general nuisance, but they can also carry dangerous pathogens that cause both human and poultry disease. So what is the best method to control flies? Hi, I'm Erica Mactinger, Assistant Professor of Veterinary Entomology at Penn State. You can use Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, to control pests in an effective and environmentally safe way. Using IPM involves a combination of common sense practices to break the pest life cycle. However, in order to do this effectively, the first step is knowing which pest you have. Did you know that there are thousands of species of flies in North America? Many of these flies do very important work in our ecosystems like pollinating flowers and crops and decomposing organic matter. However, there are a few species that are considered pests on animal facilities. Most of these are called filth flies because of their ability to develop in animal waste and other organic matter like wet feed and bedding. Each pest fly species has a unique biology that may influence what control method should be used or how effective it may be. So it is important to know which species you are trying to control. For example, Sticky ribbons that smell attractive to house flies will not attract other fly pests such as stable flies or lesser house flies. There are four main pest fly species found on most poultry facilities. House flies, little or lesser house flies, black dump flies or garbage flies, and blow flies. While most of these pests are small and look similar, each has some unique characteristics that can be used to help tell them apart. The housefly is the major pest fly species associated with poultry. Long-term manure accumulation and controlled temperatures in many high-rise houses offer ideal conditions for housefly populations to flourish. Houseflies are about a quarter inch long and a dull gray color with four black stripes on the thorax, which is the area right behind the head. These flies have yellow on the margins of their abdomen and a sharply bent wing vein. They are most active during the day and will rest on eggs, ceilings, walls, posts, and other surfaces inside the poultry house. Lesser or little house flies can be found on poultry facilities, sometimes in large numbers. This fly is less tolerant of hot midsummer temperatures than the house fly. It often emerges in large numbers in early spring, declines in midsummer when house fly populations are the highest, and may peak again in late fall. This species is smaller than house flies in general. However, the ultimate size of any fly species depends on suitable nutrition and environmental conditions during development. So size is not the best way to identify a fly pest. For example, the house fly in this image on the right was reared under good conditions, and the one on the left was not and is significantly smaller. These flies are the same species but different developmental conditions influenced adult size. So if size isn't reliable, what is? Other than size, coloration can be used to distinguish lesser house flies from house flies. Lesser house flies have three instead of four dark stripes on the thorax and yellow to orange on the margins of the abdomen. Unlike house fly wings, if you get up close, you'll notice this species does not have a bend in the wing veins but most poultry producers are not going to put these flies under a microscope. So another way to identify this species is by their flight pattern. As previously mentioned, house flies are often found resting on structures within or outside the poultry houses. In contrast, lesser house fly males show a distinctive aimless hovering or circling flight behavior of long duration within the poultry house or just outside in shaded areas. Female lesser houseflies are less active than males and are often found near breeding and development sites, which means on the manure itself. They usually do not rest in the same areas as houseflies. Black dump flies, or black garbage flies, are a less common pest on poultry facilities. In fact, they have been considered beneficial because as larvae, they may eat the immature developing flies of other pest species. However, in large numbers, they can become pests themselves. 
Black dump flies are smaller than house flies, although remember size is only one factor to consider. Black dump flies are often found in similar locations as house flies. However, like lesser house flies, black dump flies do not have a bend in their wing veins. What really sets these flies apart from house flies and lesser house flies is that they are a shiny black, sometimes slightly bronze color with no stripes on the thorax. Most blowflies are easier to identify than the previous three species. While they resemble the other flies in body shape, these flies tend to be brightly metallic green, blue, or bronze. Blowflies are important decomposers in the environment, developing in carrion. However, they have a very keen ability to smell and can find their way to animal facilities by odor. They can be found near waste areas like animal manure pits or dropped feces and also around carcasses. While the four common species of pest flies found in poultry facilities can look very similar, by observing a few physical characteristics and behavior, you can successfully identify the problem species. Remember, all these flies can be present on a poultry facility at the same time, so make sure you're scouting all areas for potential pests. Knowing which pest or pests you have is important for implementing IPM methods, which will save time and will be healthier for you and your birds.